Aotearoa, like every other country on the planet, is facing a climate crisis. We must act now to reduce our emissions and adapt to the impacts we are already experiencing. Working together, we can achieve change. Te Manatū Mātutāiao, the Ministry for the Environment, is leading across government to set out two new big plans of how, working together, we can reduce emissions and strengthen Aotearoa's climate resilience. For me, it's personal. I'm a firm believer in creating a better future. I have two grandchildren and really feel the responsibility of ensuring they can experience our wild coastlines, swim in clear rivers, have fresh and clean air and great food, as much as I've been lucky enough to experience. I'm excited that we have reached this point of considering what actions we can take to make a difference. The recent released Emissions Reduction Plan, or the ERP, is the first of its kind for New Zealand. It outlines actions that Aotearoa needs to take to cut our greenhouse gas emissions and reach our 2015 net zero carbon goal. The Emissions Reduction Plan requires actions across transport, energy, building and construction, waste, agriculture, forestry and the finance sectors. We also need to make sure the emissions trading scheme is effective and that our science, innovation, planning and resource management systems support emissions reductions. Businesses play a key role in reducing emissions by providing low emissions products and services. And the private sector will be a really important driver of innovation and change. Everyone has a part to play to reduce our emissions. The ERP will work alongside our National Adaptation Plan with Aotearoa's first plan, helping us all to understand and better prepare for the impacts of climate change. This means adapting to dramatic weather events like flooding and drought, wildfires and coastal and inland erosion. The recent release of the New Zealand Sea Level Rise Tool provides us a bit of an insight into what might occur in our future. And it's not that far away. Consultation on the National Adaptation Plan is now underway. And if you haven't done so already, please have your say. The plan will be finalised later this year. So whilst the issue is sometimes sobering, I'm really excited that we're now on a path to action. Together, we can work on practical things that will make a difference. Head to our website to see the draft national adaptation plan and our new emissions reduction plan. I'm looking forward to working with you all to create a better future.